for you guys, you might just see that and that's it. You don't see this part right here where it says Mac apps and iPhone and iPad apps. That's okay. That's just because you don't have a Mac M1 or M2. So if your Mac has an M1 chip or an M2 chip, this is what you're going to see. If it doesn't, then you can't. Even if you're running the latest Mac OS, you won't have those options. Now, is there a reason for that? Not really. Apple could have made this available for Intel users as well. That wouldn't have been a problem. This is just software. It's not like an iPhone app or an iPad app is just too much for a Mac to handle. It's actually the other way around. Macs can handle way, way, way more complex programs than what an iPhone or iPad can do. If you would like to download any of these apps right here on your Mac, all you need to do is press this right here, this cloud, just press on it and it's gonna begin the download. Now, how long will this download take? Well, it depends on the app, however, as well as your internet speed. So if you have really slow internet speed, this could take forever. Right now, I just downloaded it. There we go, we can open it up. So here we go, we're just gonna open this up and turn on, say okay. I'm gonna sign in and then keep going. But basically, this is how the app itself would show up. Now, I'm gonna fully open so you guys can actually see it. And I'm gonna press continue, there we go. It's gonna access my Facebook. Yep, that's how Oculus works. And we are done. So that's how you guys can see the app. It's gonna be the exact same app that you will see on right here, your iPad or your iPhone. Um, everything will work with it actually. But anyways, as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.